Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you something very simple and something that uh, people actually use a lot nowadays and it's called a VPN server and what we're going to do is we're going to set it up using Ubuntu and we're going to create a server where multiple clients can connect to the server and use it simultaneously so there's basically um, really only two things you need one is access to the internet and the other is a is a server of some sort. You do need root privileges because without root you can't really install anything. So all you need is a you can have a dedicated server, a virtual private server. <clears throat> you could build a server at home and just connect it to the internet. Y you could do this anyway. Um, but today I want to go ahead and make this clear that I am using Ubuntu 14.04 for this. Um, uh, this is not CentOS. I'll have a separate video for CentOS, but this is for Ubuntu 14.04. Okay, so the first thing you really need to do is just navigate yourself to openvpn.net. And what we will be using is from the community, and it will be under downloads, access server downloads. I'll actually have the direct link to this in the description if you just want to right click and copy it and then paste it into the terminal. It makes it really easy. Um, my server is a 64-bit server, so I'll be downloading this one. Now, instead of actually clicking it, what we're going to do is we're just going to right-click and copy the link address. Here, I've already got my server set up. Well, not set up, but I've already logged into it. Uh, if you need time to go ahead and do that, please do that now. Once you've done that, all you need to do is just be in your root directory and use wget to download the file. It'll download pretty quickly, and that's pretty much that. Now all you need to do is use the package installer and install it. So use dpkg-i for install, then open VPN AS. Hit enter, then it will install it to your system. There we go. Now you can see your access server web UIs are available here. So we'll just go ahead and copy that. And we'll just go up here and paste. Now if you're using Chrome or uh, you'll actually you'll get this saying saying, hey, your connection is not private. Blah blah blah. You can ignore that. It's simply because we're using the um, HTTPS protocol and the certificate is technically invalid. Chrome does not recognize self-signed certificates. You can just ignore that. Now, if it does this on something like Google, I would definitely not do that. Um, but we know where this is, so we can click Advanced and we can proceed. Now, if you use um, Firefox, you're going to actually have to create an entire... Um, you're going to have to create an exception for this, unfortunately. So you'll just have to create the exception and you can proceed. Now, what we need to do is set the password for OpenVPN. So we can use the password command followed by OpenVPN and just set a password. So I'm going to do pass4321. Pass4321. And don't get any funny ideas because at the time of uploading this video, the, the, the password is going to be changed. But this is for demonstration purposes only. Thank you very much. Oh, helps if I don't do that. And then we can log in. You're going to be greeted by a EULA or an end user license agreement in case you were curious. Just simply agree, unless you're a lawyer thing or whatever, then you're going to want to read that completely. Um, but at this point, you're pretty much done. Now, you can go to your server network settings and you can add yourself. Uh, well, if I actually do this at the right place, you can actually add server config directives. So you can actually add a different type of encryption if you wanted to. Um, I don't even bother with that. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much done. So all you need to do is create a new user. So you can load, go back to your SSH window and then just do add user, and then whatever you want. So I coexist, and then we're going to do 
a simple password and then we can just skip all that and now we have a user so now all we need to do is log out of the server itself now if you need to access the administrative part of the server you will always use colon 943 that is the port number that you'll be using to access it and then slash admin now if you're just wanting to connect to it you'll take that off and hit enter then you'll be greeted by this screen so all you need to do is log in with the account that you just created once you've done that you're going to see this screen now if you don't have opn oh, mm, helps if i talk correctly now if you don't have open vpn connect already for your windows computer or your or your Linux computer or Android or iOS device, you can actually do that here. Now keep in mind you can actually access this on your phone as well. And uh, just download the app necessary and then follow the instructions there. Now I'm on a Linux system so I'll show you how to do it on Linux. Um, so all I've already got OpenVPN installed as you can see here. I've already got it installed. Now if you don't have it all you have to do is sudo apt-get install openvpn that's all you have to do is just type that simple and I'm trying to authenticate there we go it says hey it's already there so I don't need to do that just install that and you're pretty much done now navigate back to this web page or your server web client and then just download your uh, your OpenVPN configuration file. <clears throat> now this configuration file is user locked, meaning that only the user that you created and downloaded it for will be able to use it. You wouldn't be able to give this to someone else and just create another um, another user because they would use that user to authenticate and it's user locked. So that would just completely fail altogether. So now we'll just locate that file that we download. So it's going to be download. We're going to see client. For simplicity, we'll just leave it there. So in Linux, um, right now the only way, the easiest way that I've figured out how to do this is to simply use terminal to start OpenVPN and connect. Um, you can use Quake if you don't, or Quake if you don't like to have to watch the terminal all day so you can do it in Gwake if you have it or Yawake I think that's how it's pronounced um, if you have that installed in a KDE environment um, but I'll go ahead and use this because I don't like to have it sitting down here all day um, otherwise you can just open up a terminal and do the same exact thing so all you need to do is sudo open VPN and then uh, your config file so mine's located in the downloads folder which I might actually need to do this it might not like that at all oh, seems to work all right so we'll just type in our authentication username and then the password we used for it And if everything goes well, you're pretty much done. You've got yourself an open VPN server. And yeah, initialization sequence completed. So we'll just close that out. And we can go to IP info or what well, you can just Google your IP address. And you should notice that your IP address is changed from your normal thing. And for some reason, this is located in Japan which is this is definitely not located in Japan but that's fine um, so yeah you're pretty much done with that um, I'll go ahead and show you how to create more users and in, in the event that you want to have another one now keep in mind that without a license you're only licensed to have two users um, connected at one time we can actually view that here so you can see your license is for two users um, you can purchase a license key um, if you want to have more than two users uh, connected concurrently 
um, but for general use um, you know this will be perfectly fine you don't need anything else if you're just building a server for yourself that's great you can actually buy a VPS pretty cheap these days um, most VPNs charge you ten dollars a month and you can actually pick your uh, pick up your own server for five dollars and then just do it this way um, but do keep in mind you don't have unlimited IP addresses and you don't have custom locations wherever your server is that's pretty much going to be the location that it uses um, there's ups and downs to each one uh, so if you're gaming, uh, you know, using your own VPN that you built is actually uh, a very good idea because you're able to control what happens with it. You can open up ports if necessary. It's hard to actually work with network access trend or network address translation. I don't know why I said access, but network address translation on servers. That's kind of a difficult, tricky area. There's kind of like quote unquote hacks you can do. To open your NAT while using an open VPN access server but we're not going to be getting into that today uh, so at this point you're pretty much done you're ready all you need to do is just connect and disconnect whenever you feel like it if on your phone you wanted to do that um, you can either use the same uh, client profile you downloaded to your computer and transfer it to your phone or you can just navigate to your servers IP address uh, where it installed the web server to use your phone download your uh, client profile and then download the app that needs to go with it and connect and it will be handy dandy if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more here in the near future leave a thumbs up if you disliked it hit that dislike button and leave a comment we kind of need to know why you disliked the video otherwise y'all have a good one